Hi, I'm Ju Thiel, Obstetrician, Gynecologist and Fertility Specialist in Perth. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the use of aspirin, especially in pregnancy. Towards the very end, I'll add on a little bit on fertility and IVF. Now focusing on pregnancy, aspirin has been shown to improve pregnancy outcome um, for many women or certain group of women actually. The use of aspirin has been shown to decrease the likelihood of having preterm delivery um, or having preeclampsia. Essentially, preeclampsia is a collection of problems or symptoms in pregnancies, for example, very high blood pressure, um, passing protein in the urine, and if it's severe, serious enough, can be very dangerous for uh, mums and babies. And often it might cause the baby is to be small and not reaching the full growth potential inside the womb. So um, nothing is without side effects. Um, aspirin is known to make someone more prone to bleeding. For most patients who need aspirin, that hasn't, there's not, um, no reported uh, findings that aspirin increase the chance of bleeding in pregnancy. However, if someone having bleeding in pregnancy, of course, you know, I ask them, look, perhaps those who are on aspirin, I ask them to stop aspirin at least for a little while because aspirin is good for longer term. For the placenta to be healthier, I would say, look, to improve the placenta architecture, how it is formed and the function of placenta to have a better pregnancy outcome. How it works is it can be complicated, involve the pathways in our body, the prostaglandin, prostacycline, um, thromboxane A2, and etc., etc., which is not a topic we need to go into very deeply today. And also aspirin can cause um, um, reflux and gastric discomfort, and this is quite common for many patients, especially early in their pregnancies. So aspirin does have side effects. Of course, people who are allergic to aspirin, you can't put them on aspirin. Um, the dose we use, we use is quite low dose. I don't generally give it to all women. I, uh, this is what personalized care comes in. Um, and what I do is I, you know, when I come in, I take the story. Have they ever been pregnant before? How's their pregnancy in the past? Their age, their weight, any, um, any, for example, antiphospholipid antibodies, etc., etc. So it's, it is personalized. We look at guidelines, look at scientific research to say, look, who should need aspirin? And those patients, I think, look, aspirin would be beneficial for them. I uh, prescribe a low dose 100 milligrams of aspirin um, in other countries, sometimes 75 milligrams, a low dose aspirin for them to use um, early in their pregnancies, for example, six, seven, eight weeks. Um, and carry on up to about 36 weeks, which is a good time to stop as in, you know, if someone goes to labor after that, typically after 37 weeks, then they are not um, having um, more prone to bleeding because of being on aspirin. So we stop it um, at certain stage in the pregnancy, typically 36 weeks. Um, come back to whether aspirin is useful before um, pregnancy, um, for example, a, in, during IVF, etc., people add in adjuvant to try to improve the success rate of um, pregnancy or IVF treatment to get pregnant, essentially. Now, I have to say I'm not a big fan of aspirin. I find that if you look at all the evidence um, of different adjuvant, many of them are really grey. We're not sure which patients they're going to be useful for. We're not 100% sure whether it works. Um, to improve success rate of IVF can be used at times. Um, you know, again, personalized um, treatment. Um, I have to say, look, aspirin will be my last a, a part of call. Um, often I don't encourage using aspirin at all. Um, maybe certainly patients with um, antiphospholipid syndrome, but this is another topic, whether it should go on for aspirin. Um, okay, that's it. To summarize, really, um, not routinely used in IVF or fertility treatment for me. Um, and uh, in pregnancy, certain group of patients, I do encourage them to take aspirin. Bye-bye.